The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored by Herberger Theater Center and Dark Hall Coffee. I love a show and we are so excited to have the president of the Herberger Theater here to talk about their new show, The Woman in Black, playing right now. Welcome, Mark. Thank you for being here today. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, so before we get into this show, which sounds really exciting, I want to talk about the Herberger just in general for those who maybe haven't been down to visit you guys and see a show yet. Tell us a little bit about you. Well, we're downtown. We're right in the heart of downtown Phoenix. We've been there for over 30 years and had many, many different types of events and performances. And this year we're presenting some theatrical work that's coming from international places as well as uh, doing local free events outside almost every weekend. Oh, that's so fantastic. And your location is so easy to spot if you've ever been there because you have those fantastic statues outside yes. that really kind of mark the theater that once you know that's where it is, you can always spot it. Yes, and uh, that is something that people will um, know us for and you can say, well, it's the place with the statues. Oh yeah, I know that place. Exactly. But, but there's a lot going on downtown. There's great restaurants around us. If you go to our website, you can buy discount parking so it's easy to park and get into the theater. Um, and make a whole evening out of it as well. That is such a great point because I know sometimes, for myself included, I feel a little bit like, oh man, going downtown, the parking, yada, yada, yada. But you guys can do the discounted rates for parking. There's a yes. bunch of great areas down there to go walk around, make an evening of it, have a, have a drink, have dinner. But you guys are doing an incredible show right now, which is The Woman in Black. So tell me a little bit about it. Well, it's an amazing story, and thank you for dressing the part. As... Of course, yes. This is why I, <laughs> I, I wore the, the all black today. Yes. Um, well, it's a great show. It ran in the West End in London for, for 33 years, 34 years the second longest running show ever. There's a reason why people kept going back and then brought their children, uh, saw it as part of a school show maybe, and then came back and came back. Everybody likes to be scared, whether or not they admit it, but everybody likes that, that little bit of tingle as well as some jump scares, and, and this show has all of that. So it's an amazing story that really plays itself out over the course of the time, and you start learning more and more about this mysterious woman in black well, and and how she exercised. has affected I should the people around, the people her, around her and, and oh. who is um, and how they just need to tell their story. They just need to tell it to you to make it more real. Wow, this sounds fantastic and what a great premise for a show that they need to get their story out because that's what you, the actors are doing on stage, right? They're getting exactly. their story out so you exactly. really feel like you're, you are a part of it. So uh, you said it's the second longest running straight play. And now yeah. tell me what the difference is because I, I do know because I'm a, I'm a fellow uh, thespian. But for those who don't know the difference between a musical and a straight play. Yeah, well, in this case, it is it is a play with spoken word, and they're explaining the whole story. There's no singing that goes along with it, and m musicals will have singing that will advance the story. Usually, sometimes they're called jukebox musicals, where it's just songs and you know by an artist or something. But in this case, it's just telling you the story and letting that play out both on stage and in your imagination. And I'm sure that lends itself very well to this story, being that it's a little scary, a little mysterious, so the just spoken word probably lends itself very nicely to this story. But speaking of musicals, can you give us a little tease of some of the other shows that you have coming up in your season? The, the big one that we're excited to be talking about is Mad Hatter the Musical, and mm -hmm. it's a brand new musical that is telling the tale before Hatter gets to Wonderland, before oh. Alice is there, and what happens to make him mad, and what happens and how, how the story plays out to um, both in Wonderland and out of Wonderland. It's really an amazing story. It's going to be playing here, world premiere in May at the Herberger and on its way to New York and Broadway. And that is incredible. Yeah. You guys have some really exciting stuff coming up, including a partnership with Dark Hall Coffee. So really quickly, tell me a little bit about that, and then we're actually going to hear from Dark Hall Coffee themselves. Oh, great. Yeah, this is a wonderful partnership because it, it really, their ambiance and the way they um, their coffee shop is just lend itself really nicely to this show. Mm -hmm. And so it's a great partnership. You can go and enjoy a coffee and macaroon and, and 
and then come see the show later in the evening. That's so perfect. All right, Mark, well, thank you so much for all this information. You can go to the Herberger website to learn more, to get those parking passes, and get tickets to come see The Woman in Black. But right now, let's head out to Brad, who is talking with Dark Hall Coffee about the tasty treats inspired by The Woman in Black. Hey, Brad, tell us all about it. Lexi, you guys said it right there. Uh, the Herberg has teamed up with Dark Hall Coffee for some great drinks to go with the Women in Black production. So let's head out live to Liz, who's there. I'll dress ready to go as a lady in black. Good morning, Liz. How are you? Good morning, Liz. Oh, can she not hear me? Hi, Liz. Can you hear me? Yep, maybe. She doesn't hear me? Oh, well, there you go. Well, what's happening is that they've teamed up together with Herberger to make these amazing coffee drinks in a cute little place right there in the Coronado area in downtown uh, Phoenix, which is really nice. Here goes some of the little... We are uh, at Dark Hall Coffee. We are on 12th Street and Oak in the Coronado Historic District. Um, we are right on the corner and have the Coronado restaurant right next door. We are doing this partnership with the Herberger. Um, very excited to have them choose us to do this. It really fits with our aesthetic, which is, as you can see, also dark and moody. Um, and it brought a lot of people from the community that, you know, we maybe would have never seen in our shop come in here. And our customers also becoming aware of what the Herberger does, which has been amazing. And the offerings that we have, you probably saw, we have our gluten-free London Fog macarons. And London Fog is Earl Grey with added lavender. And those are made here in-house daily. And we also have the Woman in Black Latte. And what that is, is our black mocha with activated charcoal and an Arcadia orange sugar cube, which adds a little bit of citrus flavor, a shot of espresso, and then steamed milk. Again, what are your hours? And the hours that we're open are uh, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., seven days a week. We are here to serve. Oh, I love it. Liz, thank you very much. I know uh, we couldn't hear that at first, so thank you very much. And again, and have... it's the uh, Dark Hall Coffee, and you can catch them on IG. Come on back. We got more of the mix for you right after this. The preceding portion of the Arizona Daily Mix was sponsored by Herberger Theater Center and Dark Hall Coffee.